with me, 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 with DJ Burns, big up Javi, big up Kimi in the building, big up Anurat Productions. Right now, it's all about our special guest, a very special guest in the building right now. He's an author. His new book, Coloring Culture, a kaleidoscope anthology of essays, volume one. It's out right now. We're going to talk about it. Donald Watkins, he's here in the building. Author, culture, that rhymes. Like <laughs> Nara, like Nara, Jay-Z, like... What's going on? Nar- I am not a Jay Z fan. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a Jay Z. You know, how old are you? I see my rating, but I no, think he's on, overrated. How old are you? I'm twenty odd. Okay, you can uh, different time. <laughs> my yeah, rating, but I don't there think was a he's time the best when... of all time. Or so who's people. your best? Who's your best? Eminem. Eminem. Yes. Nah, Eminem like number three. You can't skip Pac and Big. So of course, have, I have those, Jay-Z, but yeah, in in Jay Z. Like, what time are you know? Yeah, Tupac. Eminem. Biggie, Nas, Eminem. Wait, it's so like the Jordan argument, you know. Jay Z like, first, Jay Z's first for you. After, yeah. Wow. Like, uh, yeah. he's a billionaire. That, no, <laughs> nobody has in rap. Do that. Rap no, nobody has in the rap. Part of rap culture, yeah, is part celebration. That is true, and that's why some people growth. see him as the best. Yeah. So yeah. if you assess it for real, but and he's, isn't he a billionaire with Beyonce? Yeah, but he's a billionaire by himself because he's like six hundred millions and six hundred million in net worth, which means he he has made a billion dollars because he oh. had to pay tax. Oh, oh, so I got you. Natural. Yeah. Okay, okay. And if you, if you make five hundred million US, you kind of close can do anything. Yeah. yeah, if you make five, the hardest thing somebody told me is to make your first million. After that, you it's know how easy. to make the rest. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But I think what's really hard is making your first billion. Have two. to be. <laughs> <laughs> After that, you can make two, three, four, five. That's life. You said that, I, and you said on the back of your book that to have a billion dollars, you have to serve a billion. Oh yeah, people, yeah. Which is uh, imperative the, service. The, the people that yeah. I know, um, and I've met a few billionaires, some mm-hmm. in Jamaica right here, um, is because they provided a service mm-hmm. to a billion people, mm-hmm. or they provided a service that could be. At, that could reach a billion people mm-hmm. maybe not a billion people bought it mm-hmm. but eventually like Facebook yeah. Facebook helped me make money mm-hmm. it helped you make money YouTube helped you make money mm-hmm. that's why YouTube is so big so they'll help you to make 40,000 US but they just made 40 billion dollars true that's how you gotta do it yeah but so, boy you're saying bold though he's a billionaire a uh, Jamaican a billionaire Jamaican right? billionaire <laughs> yeah, yeah. You how much people so you're bold, saying bold's race you're saying bold's races yeah. reach a billion people True. Easy. Mm-hmm. The, you saw the stadium recently? Yeah, mm-hmm. jump the stadium, up. Say, some people said Same. it was rum, rummer yeah. than even went. Which dancehall DJ could do that? No one. Probably Bob Marley could do that. But yeah, he's in. <laughs> he's not with us. Sadly. He's on a. He's on a hell of a. <laughs> My dream. You know, I had a dream yeah. to put Kevin Hart in the national stadium. That'd be Just cool. to entertain easy, people. Easy for because he has performed for sixty thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think twenty thousand Jamaicans would come out. Yeah, because I'm like, how many people the stadium can hold? Twenty five. Thirty on a good day. Oh, okay. And spill over five more thousand. So wait, no, wait. We're not gonna trample, which is not a fire hazard. Well, I, I do the grand gala. I I, I help yeah. to coordinate the grand gala okay. every year for mm-hmm. like the last ten grand galas, mm-hmm. and every year we have like, so they say equal amounts of people outside. I don't believe that. Yeah. Because I'm not outside. I don't yeah. see it. But they say people are outside. Inside is like 30,000 people. Yeah. Wow. Because you know it's a free show. And yeah. They love Jamaica. Or so they claim. <laughs> well, Pe- people, in- they love... Uh, Pe- I hear that even up to when both finish run, which he closed the yeah. show, mm. people outside still couldn't get in. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah, can yeah, imagine... Yeah. Now, racers, you are a set of genii. <laughs> yep. <laughs> True one. How you promote that to be the man's last race in I'm Young Days. You know the man gonna run again. But, but no, but... It worked. On it home worked. soil, say. And he's nah, more than market. Now, let me tell you what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, in two years, they're gonna be like... Back by popular demand, <laughs> I ram the stadium again. <laughs> I say, get this money Marketing, again, yeah. billion people. Yeah. And then next time, um, NBC gonna sponsor it, mm-hmm. all kinds of things. Cause the first one was a success. Yeah, he can, you know. Mm-hmm. Plus, there's this other kid right now trying to be bold. 
it's good for the culture. It's good for everything. Who like who's the other? I don't know. I'm not oh, in sports. Oh, oh, I'm just saying oh. it's motivating. <laughs> I know you're talking about Yohan or some other one. Oh, I'm time. trying to be the Usain yeah. Bolt of writing books. Okay, okay. Um, I think I'm on the way. Speaking of your book. first chapter of your book, speaks on Usain. Yeah. Why Usain makes some people uncomfortable? Oh yeah. Um, Why does he, in your eyes? Not just Usain. Usain Bolt's black body. Mm -hmm. Mm. The black, black man. strong, chiseled, here kinky. Them call it body hair. Did that make me uncomfortable? Big or foot. describing body. <laughs> nah, a real thing. <laughs> a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big foot. Mm -hmm. Toe. All part of the black. Unkempt hair. Physique. You know what? No, you call it unkempt, but but look at <laughs> no no look at my Indian have, friend over there. When you have, if you say Bo's hair was like that, it would be called unkempt. Uh, as in him all of even having the pillow for like him could have taken the pillow for him. Nah man. <laughs> and the real African king that I that give him on him strength. Uh, you ever notice I'm not really trim? I I first me see him trim with the for on the race. When I'm, Jay Z Are you don't he's Solomon. Uh, no, who's the strong one? The strong man in Samson. 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 There you yeah. go. Solomon is the wise one. Yeah. Good Samson. For you, <laughs> Good for you. So are you saying he's Samson? He's a black man. Okay. And he's probably channeling the power of Samson. Mm -hmm. Um, because the here is the mean in all the black man mm -hmm. consciousness and crown and mm -hmm. chakra and beer things like water. Mm -hmm. Got you have a seeky for us. Keep anyway, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny um, that you talk about because you seen. Well, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell about about you seen what I said about yeah. in yeah. another book. You seen's black body is intimidating to white people. White are people, people who, hold skin? on. Probably. White people who are privileged in the status quo and don't want that image to be regularized and normalized as power. Mm -hmm. They would rather. The glasses and suit, blue suit preferably, mm -hmm. and a nice socks Red and tie. belt well fixed and white shirt. They rather that be the image of power. Mm -hmm. But you see him bold in all his physique, which means that some tight clothes and showing all I'm and pumping him chest. That's intimidating, mm -hmm. and that's why when he won his first, broke the first record and pumped his chest. Yeah, people are saying people started to utter, yeah, like, right. and check the people who were uttering that. White old men, yeah. In and then when the man win him race at Brazil, the man win. Virgin, the man win, mm. and the man decided to oh my God, the club, go just dance. Now that all that we do, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then people start say. He might do this and I let down country. Let down which country? Uh, which part? We all yeah, cheered yeah, for yeah. him. I don't know about them, but but in, in regards to the white people are the people who may have a problem. The status the quo. Yeah, the status, the status quo. Because not all white people. Yeah, but they happen to be white. Yeah, those people. Come on, ask you. Would you say they had the same problem? Would say like a Maurice Green who did a rule the sport, but Maurice Green did even more bossy than the, both is perceived to be. Uh, check where Maurice Green is now today. Check mm. that. But more than that. Um, the status quo is northern. Mm. So we're we're in addition to you seeing him being black, he's Jamaican. It, he does not fit into what power should be. Yeah. And and he that's intimidating to a lot of people. Not everybody, but to a lot of people who controls power platforms and culture. That's intimidating. And you can't stop like you seeing both because yeah. he's gonna win. Yeah. You can't deny him. You mentioned Michael Jordan just now. We used to argue, oh, Jordan might not be the best person. There's a youth in the street that's as good as Jordan. Mm. You can't say that about Bolt. Mm -hmm. There's nobody in the street as good as Bolt. There might be some brother in Africa. Well, maybe, no. Maybe Black Panther really road. exists. Uh, well. Another road. We may, we may, the tr maybe the there's Wakanda that exists in a real life. You probably can run a long race, yeah. but not the short race. Not the short one. The Africans have longevity and strength, but mm. you see him bold, is well built for this. Mm -hmm. You know, you see him went to Germany to straighten up his body to to come and win races. Yeah. Like That's that's a, like a once in a lifetime thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so that kind of greatness that undeniable greatness that we have in jamaica mm. is our symbol of power my son marky jordan he's on the cover of my book he loves you saying i named him jordan after michael jordan okay nice. he's he does he loves jordan because he loves jordan shoes but he loves you saying mm -hmm. because to him you saying is powerful mm -hmm. you think he's not going to become a powerful being just by having that image and knowing that you see him come from the place where him come from. Right. Like that's that's affecting kids. True. So people don't want to see that. Because you're gonna have everybody walking around and said, I am powerful, I'm powerful. Imagine if every little ghetto you'd start saying I'm powerful. Mm -hmm. What kind of nation we have? Mm. Everybody don't turn move up to one. 
because people and start to create <laughs> well they must start to create and see the yeah. image as one thing yeah. it's downtown people don't want to take uptown true i would pull up a land space uptown mm-hmm. we'll up a land space but it is the closed culture which i spoke about in coloring culture mm-hmm. where people want to narrow you down put you in lines and color you in between their lines you yeah. think that played a role in what happened with um shampa's wife a couple of years ago of course that, that that's that's um yeah, i was waiting for you to touch on that in the book right? that, well the, the article mm-hmm. the article you see in both black body was triggered by that moment mm. um, i feel like you're saying <laughs> all the, all the... <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you have to be careful <laughs> in your black body but yeah no i am <laughs> em- all embracing i love the black woman <laughs> The black man is powerful yes. and the black body yeah, yeah. is something to look at. It's yeah. art. Yeah. Mm. From it comes the world, yeah. especially the black woman. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the passage of life. It's the conduit of life, that black spirit, black body. Mm. And I, I want you to, your, your listeners to remember that. Mm-hmm. Um, I was listening to this guy say, um, the black man, I think it was Charlemagne. He said, a white man told no him a white man <laughs> told him that the black man treats his black woman the same way the white man treats the black man. Mm. I was like, whoa. Mm-hmm. So we have to treat our women better. Yeah. Because mm. from us come that power and start from the mind, soul, body. You know, it's all one thing. But you see board. I want to finish off with you same board. Yeah. The the situation with Jinx triggered this article okay. um it was actually the most this was published in the observer and it was the most shared article that week mm-hmm. um what about controversy people agreeing disagreeing you could go on it and, and find it but um what i was really trying to say is watch your own prejudices mm-hmm. like because you you can't be under you haven't achieved half of what you see in both as achieved mm-hmm. as a human being he had to achieve that to live beside you mm. You didn't have to achieve that to live there. Mm. You get me? Yeah. So the black, the 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 man, the disenfranchised man from country, from ghetto, from poor circumstances, he has to work a million times harder to get an uptown house. Mm-hmm. While some people born in an uptown house, uh, marrying to uptown. House. You get me? Mm-hmm. Like it's a whole different dynamic of privilege. Yeah. And, and you got to watch that. And that's what I was going on. And, and you kind of. Through it all, like you, you touch on dancehall, I'm, I'm sure that you're a dancehall lover because you yeah. talk about it. God, me good as all that. Yeah, <laughs> now in my past life, yes. I was like Ninja Man. Yeah. Like, hold on, I'm going to see stand up in the air and I'm moving. So you take coke to your neck, pastor? Um, <laughs> I've never seen Ninja Man. What are you saying? He has, admitted, he has admitted. admitted. He has admitted. I never seen him admit nothing. As far as me know, Ninja Man, an original front teeth, gun front teeth, gold teeth, gang, gargan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you love, well, you talk, yeah, you talk about it. And it's almost like that, the prejudice, that that thing is people yeah. kind of box the, in dancehall and, and no put it that, away. No, that. Um, they use dancehall for their to convenience. Them, yeah. yeah. And when they, they, they put it in a box, mm-hmm. Put a line around it and say and it's only pretty. it's only good for this place and it should be expressed here mm-hmm. and it's only okay here. But when it's night and it disturbs the landed gentry, mm-hmm. we're gonna send the police to shut it off. Yeah, because it's not helping us. However, when it's election time, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, and every yeah, time we'll we come on stage, and, yeah. just announce it, just yeah. announce it, and we're gonna use it to strum up the people. Yeah, and I'm saying in my book. Dance hall is more than that. Dance hall should be seen as an intellectual awakening. Right. I just told you where Ninja Man was my hero as a kid. Mm. When I saw him in National Stadium, I shelled the place. And that's a thing used to go on back in the days. Yeah. Oh. If you never know my 20-year-old friend. So, <laughs> <laughs> Ninja, Man, Ninja Man and Shabba was the biggest thing at one point, by the yeah. way. Yeah, when right. I was growing I up. <clears throat> Ninja Man was who everybody wanted to be. Just like all the Mohammed Vice Cartel, no? Mm-hmm. Ninja was that person. And I saw that power as a little country youth, as something to aspire to. Mm-hmm. Now, I've never been a DJ in the National Stadium, but I've since planned several major events in the National Stadium. That might have been my course because I saw that as a thing. So dancehall can be used as an intellectual awakening with the lyrics, the, the DJs themselves, um, how them dress, everything. Kids actually emulate this. Mm-hmm. So you can actually use this to get kids to read. Yeah. 
You can use this to get kids to aspire and think big. Think Jay-Z it? helped yeah. me to think big. Yeah. When I hear Jay-Z say, I don't wear jerseys, I'm 30 plus, give me a crisp pair of jeans and some button-ups. I bought 500 jerseys, I'm that shit. I be a crisp wife shirt, man, no. Yeah. Okay. That's all. That's all music so you, and you culture. You talk about in the book people. that with that the, the bigger stage, the, the heads of of state and of government need to kind of mobilize in a sense yes. and 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 create a space for dancehall to kind of to make Flourish. it go further yes. than what it needs but to be. What has yeah. happened so far in dancehall? People fight itself, yeah. fight themselves. To mm. um, what has happened is, uh, in addition to segmenting dancehall to a particular time and space mm-hmm. um the people outside of jamaica have used dance hall in their spaces mm-hmm. to climb their charts mm-hmm. and go as far as they want to go with culture mm-hmm. um we saw jay-z come here last week yeah you think him just come here for chill no he, he came here to, to see shoot. what's popping mm-hmm. Him, Cause him, him do everything already, and him, him so he's here he's, to he's known to, to attach suck up the culture himself to things that are. Oh, he yeah. was the first Drake actually. People don't know that said. J- what Drake I do know what Drake attach himself yeah. to popping the Jay Z was a Jay Z and Puffy that. good for that. But Jay Z yeah. have a line and said, "I'm not a biter, I'm a rider for myself and others." Mm. But in reality, Jay Z coming here is good for Jamaica too, True. as well yeah. as Jamaica is good for Jay Z mm-hmm. because we all know whatever song he make, it's gonna pop off. Mm-hmm. Whoever I'm touched, because yeah. Rihanna, yeah. We can use that same, those same channels that Jay-Z had to fly, come here and I'm G4, mm. come big up. We can move it so, instead of people coming here mm-hmm. and taking it. Yeah. We can push it up there. We don't have to wait on nobody to do it. Mm-hmm. This is 2017. You guys that are doing this fix, nightly fix, have proven that you don't need no bag of things to reach the world. Mm. You have 7 million views on YouTube. It's the same way you can push the music. You're just part of the culture, you know? Mm-hmm. You, I think this... I'm, I felt so good to do this because I watch you every day. Give thanks. Every day I tune in. I watch you also it. name dropped us in the book. Yeah, man. Four. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I had to. I had to. Yeah. Branding on the internet versus on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the power... You don't have to wait on anybody. It's the same thing they do with the films. The 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 film commission in Jamaica, mm-hmm. the mandate is to sell brand Jamaica as part of Jampra's mandate, mm-hmm. right? And I was told that film in Jamaica, um, it, it has to fit the brand and it has to be sellable. And I'm Are like, you saying that they have to change the pattern, like don't do pattern? Yeah, somebody said, somebody said, um, this guy Joel so Zwick, cycle. he said. Um, Jamaicans don't need to do movies in Patois. They they need to do do it in English because we once you do it in Patois, it's a foreign language, film. Yeah. And my my first thing is, what's wrong with a foreign film? Uh, most of the films I watch are foreign films. That's Sometimes one. I'm boring, no, no, no. Yeah, but that's it. You <laughs> got to make your content relevant. Well, it's not a language. Action movie, maybe I watch a read, and that's a one foreign the, film. One of the best too. movies yeah. series I'm watching now is Narcos. Okay. Mm. That's in yeah. that's in Spanish. Yeah, so that bad, yeah. yeah. Narcos man. You think me can make a whole movie about Tivoli? Me could. And um, keep the patois mm-hmm. and subtitle it. But and people w- not watch it. But would it be sellable? And, 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 if and... Narcos sellable, you think you think the story of how Tivoli was made mm. to, to the all the things that happened but, to this day, you think that's not gonna be a relatable story? I mean, that's because I think that's writers. Spanish. That's what I'm saying. Mm. So it's not the language. Uh-huh. It's it, it's not the language, it's how well, the story is being told. Mm. But the thing is, that I think the difference is though, like Spanish, French, German, all those languages are our mother languages. Yes, and Patois is but not, you're not really. But you're considered... not reading. You're not reading the Spanish exactly. Mm-hmm. So they have minimized the power of our language again. Yeah. They must small way up. Mm-hmm. If you want to take the confidence from people, take away them language. Tell them some language not good. Mm-hmm. You, you see, when a teacher is teaching English, and tell a, a child to say, tell a child, talk good. What that teacher is telling the child is that he's, first of all, bad. Mm-hmm. When a child believes that his inherent power is bad, it's hard to teach him English. Mm-hmm. And that's why many people don't speak English. Mm-hmm. They don't think in English. Mm-hmm. And if you tell somebody that the language that they're thinking in is bad, you mess up their whole self-esteem. Wow. So you can't tell a people, but don't make your film in part. Are you mad? Mm-hmm. That's madness. 
I mean, and I was saying that you can teach, yeah, people can learn Spanish, learn French. Like, it's kind of hard and to get, learn No, I'm getting, that's why easier to learn Pato, because Pato is English mixed Broken with a bunch English, of things, right, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but some of the stories need authentic language. Mm-hmm. Not all the movies, mm-hmm. but some of them, you can use Pato. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Shatters was a mad movie. Yeah. Yep. The difference, the, what what was bad as Shatters was bootleg era. Yeah. When Shatters came on now on Netflix... I believe it would it would Man. Be for real, <laughs> like, <laughs> real thing. Imagine yeah. Shatters, Shatters just just as it is came out twenty seventeen Netflix. Mm-hmm. Cause I call it classic, not yeah. not just amongst every like, every like everybody, exactly, yeah. especially in Florida. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, of Florida, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shatters would have been one of the biggest movies if Third World Cup. Third World Cup needed some help though, mm-hmm. but. Shatters is one example where yeah. if it came out just as is, we mix the American language, Jamaican language. You know which one? It would work. I can't remember the one, but is with the with Storm Salter directed. Yeah, it. man, better must come. I was better in that movie. Come. I was in that movie. You were? Yeah, man, I, I was in that movie for. I, sh- I feel like you were like the the um the one of the politician. Then. No, I tell you, no, I was much younger. I tell you who I was. I shot that movie, High Storm, Big Up Yourself. Mm-hmm. You have um helped me to do many things. Big Up Storm, Vladimir. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm Bridget. Storm, I shot that movie for five days and five nights. Straight. Wow. Non-stop. You know, in Garrison right now. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, Red Bull Man Drink, night, night, night. Wow. When I was done shooting the movie, I'm not going to tell you how much I get. I, I, th- I spoke about it in my first book, how mm-hmm. much I got. And when I got paid, I was like, I got to be a producer because I can't be no actor. Because I'm a trained actor. That's okay. what I went to college for. Okay. Um, I can't be no actor forever because this can't do anything. Because mm-hmm. remember, I'm shooting five nights straight. And when the movie came out, <laughs> I was in one minute of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you were cut out. <laughs> what? No, but it worked today. It yeah. worked. It worked. Uh-huh. Like, I, my, my minute, bad. Like, mm-hmm. I put it on my Instagram with it. My minute is like, my one gunman, I come and me kill him. But the, the real... So, what, uh, 15 seconds then. Exactly. Then there, there, there. <laughs> 50, not even the real minute then. <laughs> yeah. But that was the moment I decided I'm going to make my own movies. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to be the person with the budget. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do what I want. But I, I respected Storm for giving me that shot early. Because mm-hmm. I was about... I was probably like 20 mm-hmm. and he saw my talent and he was like, yo, you're in the movie. Yeah. And, and he didn't have a big budget because, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, because it was like but, an indie film too. Yeah, it was, it was me. Nomads was in that movie. Yeah. Um, mostly it was Sheppy and, and, and yeah, we were on set. We were on set a lot. They, were, they shot the movie for like a month. I was on set a lot of the time mm-hmm. with them. Um, but that movie would work too. Mm-hmm. It was on Netflix at one point. But imagine those movies are just coming out now. Mm-hmm. But we can make more. Mm-hmm. We can make more of those. With our language, our stories. That was that was a story about the Green Bay Massacre. Oh, right. Those stories help to heal the nation. Mm-hmm. Cause movies is not just for make money. Yeah. It kind of give an understanding to yeah. because I I remember doing it for um I had to watch it for like history mm-hmm. class or Carib studies class. Of course. One of them. I kind of we had to learn and well watch and figure out what happened and and yeah. explain and discuss um the the because art art is healing. Yeah. Art is is healing. To any society. The music is, is supposed to be healing. Mm. The film, more than anything, is because film composed all the, the music, drama, dance, everything is mm-hmm. in film. So if you make a good film, mm-hmm. like this film you're doing now. True. Yeah. Big up on yourself. On that <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so wait, um, you talk about, you were a part of the planning for the gala. Oh yeah, I, I don't I, know. I think if, I'm with it this year too. I don't know if you heard or if you have any knowledge of um, the Carter. initiative. Yeah, I saw that this Carter, morning yeah. on your page. No, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What, what do you think about that? What I don't know that not, part. What, you That's what the minister. Yeah, That's what the honourable minister Olivia Babsy Grange <laughs> <laughs> and the Jamaica <laughs> Five, Jamaica Fifty Five Secretary. Right? Big up Lenny, yeah. but I, I have no idea. Do about you that. think he should be able to come? Do I perform? think Vibes Carter should perform? No. Um, why? Um, maybe when he's freed. Yeah. But, um, I don't think any prisoner should perform. Mm -hmm. I do the gala. It's a security breach to have prisoners in the, in the stadium. Mm. One day, I I didn't do it this year. Um, Richie Loop performed. As I Richie Loop was hot Mm -hmm. with what's in my cup. Mm -hmm. They did not organize his performance properly. Kids rush the stage. To Richie Loops. Yeah. I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. And they did that because security wasn't in place. Yeah. Now, I can't imagine. First of all, if you put Vice Cartel out, it's everybody come. Mm-hmm. Imagine announcing 
Phibes Cartel will be in the National Stadium and the whole of Jamaica show. <laughs> Who are going to protect who? Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I, what said, my I said. I said. Big yes, security. security Jamaica, yeah. Jamaica has 3,000 police force, you know. 2,000 members of the police force. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 3,000 soldiers. And I think 6,000 police. You have to imply everybody for come. Stadium with 30,000 people. <laughs> so if it's 6,000 of them come, the rest yeah. of the island are mash up. Well, them thing, they didn't say nothing for you seeing. <laughs> you get the sure. message? Uh -huh. You can't stop that. I, yeah. I don't know what's the, what's the deal with the prison. I, I would think the prisoners they would use are those who... My nine fractions. Yeah. yeah. Smart. I'm thinking jailers too. And I'm probably even if you do good yeah. prisoners. No, not jail. just... you can't use jailers. Well, you can't yeah. use jailers. But if a pr prisoner yeah. like one, Year, yeah, it don't be year. somebody <laughs> way and then we out. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna get problems. Yeah. And, and and the way it you it's it's gonna be used. Um, if it is, yeah, will have to be well secured. Mm. Um, everybody in that stadium. There are two thousand kids that perform at, at the Grand Gala every mm -hmm. year. How much we just say? Two thousand. Yeah, the, that alone is a heavy logistical light nightmare mm -hmm. all the time. Food, everything. Now imagine. You coordinating prisoners in. First of all, a soldier have to bring them. Mm -hmm. Imagine the grandstand say, Five Scotten! <laughs> Madness. Yeah. Who are going to start them? Nightly fix? Or come down? <laughs> Surely I'll not. I'll be watching at my yard. Surely not. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I'm giving away a book today too. Yeah, so. tell them how they can copy it though by purchasing. Yeah. <laughs> the book is on Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's on Barnes & Noble's. Um, you can contact coloringculture at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Um, and the launch will happen tomorrow. No, Friday. Friday. Yeah. Um, at the Audi showroom. So, where is that? Audi showroom is on Oxford Road. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can come there. There'll be a lot of giveaways. So, how much is it? Food. The, each book, I'm going to give a special price at, on that day, okay. but it's 25 US dollars. Um, I think it's three thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm giving I'm giving good discounts to people. Mm -hmm. Um, on Friday. I must say though, like when I read it, I was like, I need more. But then I then I realized, oh, they're essays. And so, it's volume one. <laughs> yeah. So you know, because I'm like, oh, that more, and I was wanting yeah. to explore and to talk more about it. But then I said, oh, is that an essay? And must save that for volume two, man. I that's guess. What, that's <laughs> what I'm getting. That's what I. But well, it's nice that you. It's yeah. nice that you. Yeah. You want more. But though. then I want that's you good. to do thing. I want you to do a, a book that really touch on the the history of the culture from your perspective. That's like, this one. Yeah. Okay. All in right. in Jar's hope. Yeah. Um, the first chapter is called Music, Rhythm, and Lies. Mm -hmm. And I position Jamaica, polit Jamaica's politics, music, rhythms, and lies, sociopolitical beliefs for improvement. Mm -hmm. And I gave a history of the culture and how the culture shaped our beliefs mm -hmm. and how dancehall mm -hmm. in particular coming from, from ska, it's coming from further, but ska, rocksteady, reggae, dancehall, to this modern dance hall mm -hmm. and how it has paralleled our political system mm -hmm. where when the music start, I would say 62 is when Jamaica gained independence, right? Yeah. We had Skia. Skia, 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 Skia. Hype, energy, beer things, independence, everybody glad. Yeah. Then they didn't, they didn't really know what independence entailed and soon they realized it's responsibility. Mm -hmm. But they weren't ready to be responsible. So yeah. they got somber. And it was rock steady. Mm -hmm. You better get ready. <laughs> yeah. Come to rock steady. And the music became dead because people became somber. Realized independence wasn't all glory and hunky dory. Ska, ska, ska. Mm -hmm. And then you had the peace after revolution era where the first time a man say, May I go bomb my church. The first time a man bring violence in the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm was during that Bob Mall era, yeah, revolutionary right. music, yeah. where it's it's peace, but after this revolution, because mm -hmm. yeah. we're not going to take this lying down. Mm -hmm. And out of that came a more radical slackness, like Yellow Man, yeah. then Bad Man, then Bad Man get worse, <laughs> then Bad Man bleach and get worse, worse, worse. <laughs> then Bad Man, a real, real Bad Man, like yeah. Bad, Bad Man, for choo, 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 choo. <laughs> yeah. Tell and then bad man the lines put things in their throat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the and then you have bad girl too. Yeah. yeah. Like everything just get bad. Yeah. But then the bomb up your I mean never said that. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and everything became equal rights. Yes, which you do talk on in this book. <laughs> and um, the, that history of the music and politics has been the same thing because yeah. the clash is no different from the two political parties. Mm -hmm. 
the, the it's a gladiator sport. Mm-hmm. Um, people want to win, mm-hmm. but in Jamaica, it's usually the loser of the clash that get the most international fame. Really? Yeah, historically, mm-hmm. Ninja Man kill everybody. Mm. Him never get a Grammy yet. Mm. Everybody in kill get a Grammy. Or, or get international record label. Yeah, Supercat. Yeah, Supercat. Right? Mm-hmm. Everybody in mm-hmm. German. Um, Cobra. I don't know if him kill Cobra still. Yeah. If you watch about them, the Elta I know his Skelter. main rival was, was Super Yeah, but Ninja Man are the baddest, you know? Yeah. Like, you can't deny Ninja Man. Thing. No, man. Different. Ninja Man, that one party one time, one stage, sir. No. One next artist of one stage, one stage, sir. And the crowd are mad. And I say, yeah! And the youth are thinking, sir, him, ninja, him, the crowd are God. And the man look back on him. And Ninja Man put up one foot on us, sir. <laughs> the man just walk off of the stage stuff. <laughs> Ninja now not back on him. Ninja man just put up in foot on us. And the crowd Ninja man could be taken as a walking advertisement on why you should do coke. I don't know about the coke thing. Wait up on the man, bro. I just Ninja, my it final is not me. Everybody in Ninja, you were man. always my hero. <laughs> it could be attributed to the coke that he did. I my don't final know. question. Let's ignore that room. Now, one, one, of things about, one of the things about being an artist <laughs> yes. is spiritual transcendence yeah um if you check any other historical scriptures with any other great men um yeah coke is bad but a lot of these artists and do practice different and... whether you know whatever it is because yeah. to create art requires a deep level of thinking mm. that a exactly. lot of a lot of people don't feel like the, you can find it in your own brain you know mm-hmm. yeah but a lot of people don't go to that place in their own brain meditation can give you that mm-hmm. high level of, of thinking yeah. you know but some of them find other things my question is my final question is yeah um dr donahoe yeah. you know she's into <laughs> these things she's into the culture as well like do you parlay with her you talk to her you know i've never had a conversation with dr yeah. donahoe except pick her brain passing but sonia naya who's mm-hmm. my super duper friend mm-hmm. um we talk all the time sonia naya endorsed this book mm-hmm. jr's hope she said jr's hope is every young boy's hope um she was one of the first persons to read jr's mm-hmm. hope um yeah sonia dr sonia naya and i we talk all the time mm-hmm. and we discover new things i gave a, a speech recently which I put in this book, um, Valium Dancehall at the Dancehall Conference mm-hmm. last month. Sometime yeah, ago. yeah. You, you, one yeah. of you, Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was the coordinator for it. Okay. But yeah. All right. I'm done over. I can't make a leave without contributing <laughs> to the fix. The What's this? Fun. What's this? You're going to do with him, see, Dara? <laughs> you're talking about US and stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> No, don't, don't, that's not for you oh, to touch and contribute to the fix. I think it's a book you want to buy. No, as you can see, our table is terrible, you know what I mean? No, it's so, not a fix. This is news talk. You with money. No, but still. <laughs> fix this. But still, you know, I, it, we are trying to do, do a thing. Or are we, put it on the, we put it up on you the internet. You know what I mean? And our news talk get the cuss in a wee on YouTube. Oh. So, you know, we have the same book. We are taking no, it to our own hands. You know what I mean? So, we're not taking off this. Can this look good enough? But, but take off the, the brown part no stop finding yeah 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 you mean. know what i mean no yeah, i'm giving you more valuable lessons i'm coloring your culture <laughs> i'm coloring your culture more than money okay I'm, what i'm giving is way more valuable than a thousand dollars i tell me how much to fix the table i mean i know i uh, probably around 20 20 thousand or more 30 40 <laughs> No, the Bible said, you must knock and you shall receive. Now, my son, Naro, I need you to knock and tell me how much you need. (laughs) Well. All right, people, I'll get this broke pocket you tell you. No, no, no. (laughs) No, I'll I'll send a check. I'll send a check. I'll send a check. Man, say check. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, give thanks for passing through, though. Yep. And remember, it's Donovan Donovan Watkins, Watkins. Coloring Culture, a Kaleidoscope Anthology of Essays. No, a Kaleidoscopic Kaleidoscopic Anthology of Essays. essays. Um, And why why I call it that is, Mm -hmm. um, why I call it Coloring Culture is because we need to go beyond the boundaries set for us and color beyond what Mm. was established when we born and said, this is our culture. Mm -hmm. We can go beyond it. And as we go beyond it and reach billions and millions of people is as much as we will grow. Mm. We can't be so narrow and protectionist and feel like this is all there is to see. Mm -hmm. The world is now big. True. And we can make it small. Globalize. Thinking bigger. 
and just moving things the way we want to move it, as you guys are doing. And a kaleidoscopic is just because all the S's stand alone. Yeah. And they're not connected to each other. Like in the last part, you kind of did with um. Yeah. I segmented yeah. a little. Um, like there's one point, and I want to I want to talk about this. And the equal I don't know if we have more time. Um, where I spoke about um, I spoke about sex after childbirth. Mm, yes. Yeah, I, I wrote that in a in a little moment, just trying to understand women. Um, a lot it's of like women... you're coming from a personal place, but I realize you have poor children, so you have. <laughs> yeah, I do. Have... <laughs> And it's authority to speak. I have some authority on that. <laughs> yeah. But but women in general um, have within them the power, mm-hmm. as, I, as I keep on saying. And that time after childbirth is actually the woman's most powerful period. Because she's able to heal herself, heal the world, heal the child. Mm-hmm. But sometimes she don't feel pretty. Mm. She don't feel like she can reach where she want to go. Mm-hmm. And that particular article sex after childbirth which i want all my women to buy it and, and read it's it. more than just sex it's about yeah it's more than just check yeah. it's because it's, it's, sex for women is is a head game yeah right? more than for men mm-hmm. like men narrow like you're all about yeah but buy the book i read it yeah. and you get more of that Definitely. all right give thanks what do people People can follow you social media. Follow me, Ultra Manifesta everywhere, Twitter, Facebook, um, everywhere. Um, Donovan Watkiss on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. Mm. Get my book. Um, get it. You can call me at. No, I'm not giving you my number. <laughs> you can email me, <laughs> um, coloringculture at gmail dot com, and come to the launch on Friday. All right, people. It's Donovan Watkiss. Yep. The fix. You've reached the end of the interview. Or survive, whichever. Or survive. Yeah. All right, so don't forget to subscribe using the logo button over there. And please remember, you can watch all the other interviews over there. Follow us on all social media channels at Nightly Fix. And please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to drop a comment telling us to go suck our moms as well. Or call your batty boy. Whichever, floaty boy, whichever. Whichever. Yeah. Bye.